a 2.5% concentrated 500 milliliter IV bag was used for 110 minutes. All right, so we have a concentration of 2.5, and we have been running this for 110 minutes. The flow rate of the medication is set at 10 milliliters per hour. If you know that the medication has a concentration of 0 0.05 grams per milliliter, then how much medication in mass would the patient receive okay, over that time span? We're supposed to round this. All right, so this is uh, a fun question. I mean, it's a, it's a hard question, actually. So let's write down these givens, okay? So whenever you're dealing with these concentrations, it's good to know what the concentration actually is. So we have 2.5% concentration, and that is our first item. Now, this is for the, for the bag, so for this IV bag, but we're not going to use the entire IV bag here. Um, so next, we know that we are running this for... 110 minutes and we know that the flow rate for the medication is 10 milliliters per hour and I already noticed there's a problem because I have minutes and hours but that's okay we can change the minutes at two hours shortly so what else is given I am told that each milliliter so we have 0 0.05 okay so grams per milliliter okay so that is actually the concentration inside of that all right okay so let's uh, try it so first as I mentioned because I have so notice I have hours and minutes so I want to change these up to be the same so I want to change the minutes so 110 minutes if I want to change two hours so this is something you have to know that so 60 minutes is equal to one hour. And I put the 60 minutes at the bottom because the minute has to cancel the minute. All right, so this is um, really 110 over 60 now. Okay, and that's now in hours. And if you like, so let's see. Okay, so that's what it's going to be. Now we're going to have to, so 100. 10 divided by 60 so it's 1.8 and 33 so please don't round it off I'm going to put a little bar for the repeater of three and then I'll put as many threes as I can in the calculator all right so that's how many hours we have been running this medication for all right so everything else seems okay I have milliliter and milliliter there so all is is good there so we are supposed to solve, so let M be the mass, and it's going to be in grams, okay, notice I'm, some grams right here, and now let's try to solve this. So I have, okay, so mass equals, all right, so I am going to um, start this. So first I need to know how much uh, medication have they received in the 110 minutes, right? So I have 1.8, so 3333, so hours. They've been running it for that long. So that is from this piece of information right here. Okay, so I'm going to start with that. So how long have I been running this for? And now I'm going to use my second piece of information. So I don't want it, okay, so in terms of hours, obviously, because I'm looking for mass. So I have to cancel the hours, and that comes from right here. So this is saying I have 10 milliliters per every one hour, right? That's what I have there. So since I want to cancel the hours, I can put the hour at the bottom. So this is 10 milliliters per hour. So the hours cancel. And now this gives me the total amount that the patient has received in milliliters. 
all right so that's right here okay so I've used now my second piece of information but remember that this is a 2.5 percent concentration so we don't actually receive all of this we only receive 2.5 percent okay of that medication so I'm gonna say times okay so now 2.5 percent is 0 0.025 and now that tells me exactly how much medication I've received, but I'm still stuck there with the milliliter, as you can see. So I want to cancel this milliliter. So since it's on top, I want to cancel it out with something at the bottom, but that comes out from here. Okay, so this is saying I have 0 0.05 grams okay per every one milliliter okay so I can put that in and notice so the milliliters will cancel and all I have left now is the grams all right so let's calculate this out so I'm going to take all the numbers there's actually only numbers on top because at the bottom I have a one so I'm going to say 1.8 and again remember I had to, we had all those three so I'll just put as many as I could there so times 10 and times 0 0.025 and times 0 0.05 equals so this is 0 0.0229 and so on let's see they wanted us to round they say round to the thousandth okay so again tenth hundredth thousandth so this rounded to the thousandth okay, is going to be that and that is the amount of grams of the medications all right so this is a hard concentration problem that you will see Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful.